Hello. Well, uh, today I will be talking about a uh, comedy, which, well, by the title, I'm sure you already know, but it is a, a fish called Wanda. Um, this is a very funny film, and I just watched it recently, and I thought, well, <clears throat> why don't I uh, talk about this? Though I have seen this before, but uh, you know, when I say that, I just, you know, I rewatched it. It's been it's the first time in a long time that I've seen this film, and uh, it's very, uh, it's very hilarious. Um, and also another thing I uh, noticed is this film is 30 years old this year because this movie came out in 1988, and it's just a coincidence that I've decided to talk about it. Um, now, I don't have the Blu-ray, um, but I hear that set's very good. Might look into getting that, uh, but this is a very fine uh, version of the film. has a lot of extras and stuff, so as uh, you can see and read, film stars John Cleese, uh, Jimmy Lee Curtis, Kevin Klein and Michael Palin. Now, uh, Michael Palin and John Cleese uh, were uh, of Monty Python, you know, the group who um, came into prominence with the show Monty Python's Flying Circus and then had four films, um, which I have all four of. Um, you know, I'm a I'm a Monty Python fan. Um, I don't think I've really uh, said that a whole lot on this channel before. Maybe once or twice, but that was really it. Um, so yeah, I'm a Monty Python fan. I know some aren't fans of uh, uh, the show or movies. Um, and that's fine. Um, I wasn't huge. I wasn't a huge fan of Benny Hill. Uh, though he did have uh, funny, you know, skits and stuff and such. Um, something that, I, aside from being British, obviously, uh, they definitely uh, had uh, just dressing up as women uh, in a lot of what they did. And, uh, And, uh, it's really, I know people say, uh, you know, it's British humor, it's very dry, you know, or it can be very dry, or perhaps witty, um, and it's for a very specific, uh, group of people, but, uh, I feel that, you know, it's... It depends on what you watch, honestly. Um, I was more into Monty Python. Maybe you're more into Billy Hill. Um, but some of that the humor that one would see from <clears throat> Monty Python does come through with A Fish Called Wanda. Um, not the exact same humor, per se, um, but uh, very similar. Uh, then again, the film is written by John Cleese. Um, he wrote the screenplay and helped uh, create the story with uh, Charles Crichton, uh, who is also the director. And um, I don't believe I've seen any other film that he has made. Just check right here now. You know, it might seem like I'm not prepared, but uh, sometimes things just come to me uh, like this, and I uh, just, you know, want to have my thoughts come very naturally, if that makes sense. I already know what I want to say, uh, uh, pretty much. Um, 
from these titles, uh, it doesn't really look like I've seen anything else he's ever done. Um, but, you know. Yeah, this seems to be the film that he's best known for. Um, essentially, uh, and I'm not going to really give a whole lot of spoilers, because another thought came to me that... Uh, Unless you're a fan of Monty Python, which in effect would make you a fan of John Cleese and Michael Palin, or perhaps anybody in the cast, like Jamie Lee Curtis, Kevin Klein, or even uh, Charles Crichton himself, the work he's done, I'm not sure that many people, unless you just really love comedy and want to watch all the so far, like great comedies, Around and I don't recall it being a huge thing on television when I grew up. I mean, I did see it on te television um, back when TV didn't have streaming and stuff and things like, you know, having satellite dishes or cable and all that was pretty uh, uh, commonplace. Um, I remember watching this and I just loved it. I thought it was hilarious. Plus, being a fan of these people here all helped uh, with that. And, um, now, um, essentially, the film is about a jewel, uh, uh, three, four jewel thieves. Um, three are on here, but, you know, not John Cleese. He's, uh, as they say in this film, what is it? It's around here. Um, British barrister, who's a, which is essentially a lawyer, yeah. and um, he's defending their leader, who mastermind this whole uh, like uh, heist and you know everything goes to plan. But uh, Kevin Klein and Jamie Lee Curtis. Call the police and rat on uh, <laughs> rat on the guy, and he you know gets locked up, and then he uh, is going to defend him. And throughout the whole film, uh, uh, Kevin Klein pretends to be her brother, and they're actually lovers. And Michael Palin is somebody, you know, he loves animals, and he has a lot of, he likes fish, and he named uh, this fish Wanda after Jamie Lee Curtis's character, uh, his name's Wanda, and uh, his name's Otto, that's Ken, and that's Archie. Um... It's an interest. It's a. It's a very funny movie. It's like it's one of those movies that you're like, you know, diamond thieves and everything, and it's like. In a way, uh, I guess you could think it's like you know it's just a. Uh, you know, it's a heist film, and just on the general premise that I gave you, it's it sounds like a comedy, but. It, uh, Things go awry, and you know, Jamie Lee Curtis is here for Wanda. Um, uh, goes to essentially seduce uh, Archie's character and trying to find out what he knows uh, while defending the gang, the gang's leader um, named uh, George, <laughs> and. He's, he's a series of events happens, and you really again you gotta watch this film. Um, and I only say I don't know if many people have seen this outside of a certain group of people, because you know, even though it was it did very well um, financially and critically, 
and even got some award in awards and nominations. Uh, it doesn't. Uh, it doesn't seem as if they. Um, uh, this film is talked about as much anymore. Um, not that it's never talked about, but you know, you don't hear it a lot, a whole lot, in the conversation of best comedies when looking back. And uh, which is really uh, making me hesitant to talk about this film even more because you know, I want people to watch it, and if you like the humor of Monty Python, I'm sure you will enjoy this. Or if you like any of the people who are in this movie, or if the premise alone just sounds interesting and done like a like a heist film in a comedy, if that sounds interesting to you, um, you know, I I'll just say rec I'd recommend just check it out, see what you think. Um, film's only uh, an hour forty eight minutes, so. It's less than two hours, so if you have like two hours to spare, there you go. You can watch it under two hours. Um, uh, again, I just love this film. <laughs> um, Archie Leach uh, is uh, John Cleese's character's name. Uh, I know he hesitated for a bit, but I. Looking here and then trying to fake also at the same time. Yeah, that's his name, and it's significant because that's Cary Grant's um, uh, name. That's his name. Uh, this is his real name. Uh, for anybody who's uh, Cary Grant fans, I'm sure you you know that. But if you've seen some of his movies and you liked uh, what you saw, you didn't know that. Well, there you go. Um, apparently, John Cleese chose that name because. Um, and it's as close as he would get to being like Cary Grant, is being his, uh, playing a character uh, that is his real name. Um, solid performances, you know, throughout. Um, John Cleese as the lead is just hilarious. He's like, in a way, an innocent guy, <laughs> end up caught up in the middle of this, all of this. And he, uh, you know, he's married, but he doesn't have a very good marriage, he's very loveless. And, um, seemed to pick up a little bit of steam of sorts when the, in the midst of uh, him having an, a bit of an affair with uh, Wanda. Um, you know, some things are kind of sparked again, but. I'll just say it doesn't really seem to last long. Um, and throughout this film, there's like this whole thing with uh, this woman who saw the guy, uh, George, who got you know put in jail. Because uh, as they're leaving in a getaway car, they um, meet. Yeah, they run it. They almost run into her. Actually, yeah, they don't really meet her, but they stop, and uh, she sees him, and then she has dogs, and there's this whole thing with <laughs> with the dogs that as the film goes on, you'll uh, you'll <laughs> you'll know what happens. Yeah, you. Uh, I kind of don't want to say if you haven't seen it because. Uh, what happens is just it's 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 fairly it's both hilarious yet also awful all at the same time if that makes sense um, yeah it's <laughs> yeah it's a, it's a it's a Fun movie, it's a crazy movie, perhaps you might say. Um, but solid performances, solid writing, solid, you know, everything about this film. Uh, the film got nominated for three Academy Awards. Um, one for Kevin Klein. Yeah, he won the sole Oscar for Best Supporting Actor. Uh, 
uh, nominated for Best Film at the BAFTA Awards. John Cleese won Best Actor at the BAFTA Awards, and uh, Michael Palin won Supporting Actor with uh, Kevin Klein being nominated for Best Actor at the BAFTAs, and uh, Jamie Lee Curtis was nominated for Best Actress. Maria Etkin was nominated for Supporting Actress, and she played... Uh, Archie's wife. And the film was also nominated for Best Editing and Original Screenplay for John Cleese. Um, and he got nominated for a Golden Globe for Actor in a Comedy. And uh, Jamie Lee Curtis got nominated as well. And the film was nominated for Best Comedy. And um, also at the Academy Awards, the director was nominated for Best Director. And John Cleese and uh, director Charles Crichton were nominated, were nominated for Best Screenplay. Best Original Screenplay, I should say. Add. And um, I think it should have won that also. I think it should have won Best Original Screenplay. Um, however, uh, that did come out the same year as uh, Rain Man, which was a very good film. Uh, which won Best Picture, Director, and Actor. Deserving of all those three, in my opinion. Um, but I feel like the writing was just very sharp and very smart in this film, if that makes sense. Um, it would have been great if, uh, you know, Cleese and Director won, but, you know, they got nominated. They got, you know, acknowledged. Which is good, because you know, sometimes you see a great film... Uh, not just recently, but, you know, uh, uh, years, uh, it was made years ago, many years ago, in this occasion, three, and you just think it's so great, and it's so amazing, and then you see it got nominated for awards, and then it didn't win many of them, and it's a real shame. Um, Bill Rayman is a good film, so I can't be really upset over that. It's not like it lost to a dumb movie that, that nobody talks about or uh, really cares, you know? So, yeah. So there you go. Didn't really spoil really anything. Um, so if you have seen it, you essentially know what I'm talking about. If you haven't, maybe I... Yeah, I gave a good description of the film, and if I did, perhaps you'll watch the movie. Or maybe you won't, maybe it doesn't sound good to you at all. And, uh, and if you'd also look up this movie to try and find out a bit more about it, maybe you won't uh, be interested either. So, I don't know, I just wanted to share this film with you guys. Many of you may have watched it, many of you may not have watched it, and uh, if you like comedies, and you like uh, John Cleese, Michael Palin, Jamie Lee Curtis, Kevin Kline, um, you know, anybody I've mentioned in this video, perhaps you'll um, you'll be curious to watch it, and uh, if you do, I hope you enjoy it, um, but, um, yeah, that's really all I gotta say for now, so, until next time, uh, you know, hope you all have a good day and a good week. Take care.